Embryonic Stem Cell Research, Ethics and Morality, with Sean Morrison, Director of the University of Michigan Center for Stem Cell Biology. What are the ethical guidelines followed in embryonic stem cell research? Well, in fact, there's very broad agreement across this country among physicians and scientists and ethicists about the guidelines that must be followed in order to do this kind of research ethically. The National Academy of Sciences, which is the agency that advises our federal government on matters of science and technology policy, has studied this issue, and they've recommended specific guidelines by which embryonic stem cell research can be done safely and ethically. And those guidelines have been broadly adopted by research institutions throughout the country, like the University of Michigan, in case at some point we are able to derive our own embryonic stem cell lines. Doesn't it come down to a choice between science versus morality? Don't we have to choose one or the other? Well, opponents of this work like to make that argument, and there are some people in our society who believe that embryonic stem cell research is immoral, but there are other people in our society who believe that it's immoral not to pursue this research. And in fact, from most religious traditions, there is no prohibition against embryonic stem cell research. Does embryonic stem cell research involve killing humans? We respect the moral perspectives of different people in our society, but the fact is that in our uh, pluralistic society, there are some people who believe that in vitro fertilization is morally wrong and that it's morally wrong to throw away embryos from fertility clinics or to use them for medical research. There are other people in our society who believe it's morally wrong not to pursue this research because of its capacity to ease human suffering. And so, in fact, if you look across the various religious perspectives on this issue, the people who believe that in vitro fertilization is morally wrong and that embryonic stem cell research is morally wrong are very much in the minority. There are some people that believe that blood transfusion is immoral. There are some people that believe organ transplantation is, is immoral. But the fact that there are subsets of people in our society who believe that those life-giving medical treatments are immoral doesn't make us prohibit the patients who need those treatments from receiving them. Rather, what we do is we ensure that research goes forward in an ethical manner and people are free to do in vitro fertilization if they want or not. And people will be free in the future to either uh, use therapies that are derived as a result of embryonic stem cells or not. When does life begin? You know, that's a philosophical question, not a scientific question. So I'll leave it to people to make that decision for themselves based on their own religious background. What are the moral or religious objections against embryonic stem cell research? Well, in fact, most people in our society don't feel like embryonic stem cell research should be prohibited. Most people in our society just want to see it go forward within ethical guidelines. And so the kinds of ethical guidelines that are broadly agreed upon uh, and that we would like to see in place in Michigan would include things like we're not creating embryos for the purpose of research, we're only using embryos that are left over after fertility treatment. And where once parents have decided that they're not going to use embryos for fertility treatment, with written informed consent, they should have the option of donating those embryos for medical research. 